Hello and welcome back to Math 7 with Mr. Mastinzik. We are still discussing patterns in divisibility and I am going to show you um, some of the stuff that we talked about in class today again here in case you forget. So what we did in class today was we looked at a 100 chart except the numbers were were the pardon me the chart was numbered from 301 to 400 as opposed from normally it's it's numbered from 1 to 100. This 100 chart I gave you was numbered from 301 to 400. And I asked you to circle numbers on the chart that were divisible by 2 in one color. And then I asked you to think about it and circle the numbers that you felt were divisible by 4. And then I asked you to circle the numbers that you thought were divisible by 8 in a different color. And we tried to find different patterns in that chart. And we, had, we talked about it and we had a good discussion about it. But remember, as we're going through this, that this word here, divisible, when I ask a question like this, is 42 divisible by 2? It's the same question that we, we kind of talked about in the last video clip about remainders and decimals and quotients. All we're doing is we're saying, okay, is 42 dividable by 2? Can I divide 42 into two equal groups? And when we talk about divisibility, uh, certainly in grade 7, when we talk about divisibility, we're going to assume that we can't cut up the things just like in our last example. So I can't come up with a decimal or a fraction answer here. I need a whole number answer. If there's a remainder, then I'm going to assume that it's not divisible. i got to say it's not divisible if there's a remainder. So if I take the number 42, and I divide that number by 2, and notice how I'm going to write my division like a fraction again. 42 divided by 2, most of us can figure that out, and we come up with the answer 21. So there's my quotient. 42 things divided into two groups, there'll be 21 things in each group. And I'll just change color just for fun. And we could sort of draw one group of things here. And I'm not going to draw all the little dots or squares or whatever's in that group. That would be one group of 21. And this would be another group of 21. And what I wanted you notice, to notice today was it sort of the opposite of 42 divided by 2 is 21. We can also say that 21 times 2 equals 42. OK, so what does that mean? So what? So that leads us into this discussion of multiples. And if you can remember back into elementary school there, folks, a multiple is when we go like this. And let's change this back to black. If I, for example, if I say, what are the multiples of 8? Well, I go 1 times 8 equals 8. I'm going to multiply the 8 by the whole number 1. And I can say, well, 8 is the first multiple of itself, of 8. So 8 times 1 is 8. And then I'm going to go 2 times 8. 2 times 8 equals 16, for example. 3 times 8 equals 24. And on and on and on we can go. 4, 5, 6, 7 times 8 times 8 times 8 every time. All these numbers here, whenever I multiply 8 by a whole number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and on and on, whenever I multiply 8 by a whole number, I get a multiple of 8. Okay, so we need to remember that. Multiples are when we multiply the number by a whole number, that, that resulting product, the answer, the product, is a multiple of 8, or whatever number we're talking about. So if I wanted to talk about multiples of 2, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, and on and on and on and on. I would go down forever into infinity, but go 1 times, times, pardon me, times, multiply there. So 1 multiplied by 2, 2 multiplied by 2, 3 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 2. All these products over here are going to be multiples of 2. So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and on and on and on. Another interesting thing to consider here about this too is a lot of students will remember this by saying, OK, this is 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2 every time. And it's almost like you remember it like it's step counting. 
And that's okay, you can remember it that way. And it's okay to think of it that way, as long as we remember that when we're talking about multiples, we're really talking about multiplication. We're talking about going 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going by the same number here in this column, 2. I'm increasing the whole number 1 each time here. The resulting products are the multiples of 2. Okay, so what does that have to do with our discussion of divisibility? Let's go back to our original problem where we went 42 divided by 2. Well, we all agreed. And we showed that with a couple of different groups. Oops. The, the product there would be 21. So 42 divided by 2 equals 21. And we also agreed that 2, I'll try to write these a little better, 2 times 21 equals 42. Easy enough. What this is leading us to is this idea that if the number, and I'll just change colors on my pen here to illustrate this again really quick. Let's go to red again here. Remember, the original number we started with was 42. That was our original dividend. The divisor was 2, quotient 21. So 42 divided by 2 is 21. It's even. There's no remainder. So we're going to say, OK, 42 is divisible by 2. Great. That makes two groups. Each group contains 21 things. But if 42 is divisible by 2, you can see over here that 2 times 21 is 42. This means that 42 is a multiple of 2. It's kind of like the same thing. If I say 42 is divisible by 2, then I can also say 42 is a multiple of 2. It has to be. Otherwise, it wouldn't be divisible. OK? Let's look at another quick example here. Let's pick another one. I'll just pick one out of my head here. How about, and I'll pick an easy one so that we can see we can see the math. How about 21 divided by 3? Now, you might have to do long division on that or, or, or use some other method that you know. Draw it out with paper, but don't use your calculator. Use your brain. 21 divided by 3, we run that. We'll find that the product here is 7. OK, that makes 21 things divided into three equal groups. Each group is going to have seven things in it. OK, and we could draw that out. OK, so here we have one group of seven dots. So we have one group of seven, two groups of seven things, and three groups of seven things. So just like before, three groups, that's the divisor. Seven in each group, that's the quotient. Total number of things, 21. That was our dividend. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. Great. That means that 21 is divisible by 3. We can say 21 is divisible by 3. But we also have to say 21 is a multiple of 3. And I can show that over here if we went. 1 times 3 is going to be 3. If we went on and on and up through the multiples, 2, 3, 4, OK, so look at this. So now we've got the multiples of 3 listed here all the way up to 7. So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18. And notice that all these numbers I'm writing here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, we call those multiples of 3, because they're, each one of those is divisible by 3. It's the same thing. And the last one here, 21, 7 times 3 is 21. We kind of knew that, but just to show you the multiples versus the, divi the divisibility over here. So we say 21 is divisible by 3, because we can put seven things in each group, no remainder, no leftover circles. Over here, we can say 21 is also a multiple of 3. It's kind of like the same thing. So hopefully you got that from today's lesson. If you didn't, uh, you can get it here. Just remember that when a number is divisible by another number, it's also a multiple of that number. So if 21 is divisible by 3, then it also has to be a multiple of 3.